for the past like six months, we have seen the great, great, great result just based on practicing this kind of precision medicine using the, the next generation spec CT. Yeah, I mean, this is truly a precision-based medicine at its finest. So that starts with the initial PSMA PET scan for prostate cancer patients. So that we're able to detect the disease at a very early stage and the small lesions can be detected. And with Theranostics, we are utilizing a medicine that's gonna specifically target what we see. So when you make the medicine as personalized as possible, the whole goal is to really target the tumor selectively and spare the normal organs. And in order to do precision-based medicine, you need that post-treatment spec CT with the highest quality imaging to review. Now the dosimetry is an essential key to make sure that only the tumors are targeted and the normal organs are spared. Andrea is here with us and we'll work on getting you comfy and tucked in and ready for your scan. We need to focus on the kind of information we want to acquire for the future medicine, for precision medicine. We need the molecular information from patient's body. Molecular imaging is the only way can efficiently acquire molecular activities from patient's body with geographic information. There's no other technology can do that. But when I really see the significance of SPECT is to identify the biodistribution and the personalized dosimetry of a beta and a gamma emitting radioisotope like lutetium-177, which we're using for treatment. From a quality perspective, to be able to obtain three-dimensional imaging in a very quick period of time um, with that high, high quality, I mean, you truly can quantify kind of the disease burden and where the medicine went and how that will impact the future and what we anticipate and how we can prognosticate what those findings mean. I need to see what I'm treating. And the only way in which I can be able to do that is the SPECT. So that's why I think to people who say the SPECT is dead, I would say SPECT is going to be rediscovered and that is going to be in Theranostics. You're doing great, Steve, there. We're going to continue on to the CT mode here. I mean, people said that you will never be able to do dosimetry for every single patient for the theranostics. We say we can do that as long as we have those kind of right setting and the right scanners. And we have a GE star guide with the great sensitivities over there that allowed us to achieve our goal. We scan every single patient after the treatment so we can offer the best precision medicine. By finding out this biodistribution, we can actually make clinical decisions based upon the spec CT. We actually stop patients to receive the unnecessary treatment earlier because I mean, his tumor has a greater response to the treatment. I mean, if there's no tumor in the body, why you keep throwing the drug to the patients? The ability to even calculate uh, dose to the tumors, dose to the critical organs like the kidneys, liver, uh, salivary glands and beyond. It's a whole new level of visualization and understanding and so that's something new and unique and only possible because of the technology we have. I mean, the GE Star Guide Spec CT is um, on a whole nother level. The whole concept of having a fixed dose for a certain number of cycles does not really satisfy the concept of Theranostics. It's likely that the future of Theranostics isn't the same dose uh, per treatment for up to six treatments. There's a big uncertainties in almost in every single step of patient care. We don't really know if you really have the cancer, to what kind of cancer do you have, what's the molecular composition for your cancer, where are they, how many are there, what's the right treatment. Precision medicine, theranostics, and BAMF is trying to remove this uncertainty out of the cancer care. When you do that therapy and do the spec CT, it's confirming the information uh, from the PET CT knowing exactly how much medicine went where, what dose is achieved in those specific lesions. And as we go down, we get into the area that your cancer is active, so in that peritoneum. Prognosticating potential areas that may not respond to treatment and again, allow us to enhance that person's therapeutic uh, treatment course. I'm extremely excited about this brand new field. We're gonna make a huge, huge impact to human medicine. These are the things we have never seen before.